Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a sneak peek of the new decentralized instant messenger running entirely on the Solana blockchain. It's called Solarium and you can try it out right now at solarium.chat. Once you set up your account, you'll be put into the public lobby, which you can see here. I'm going to demonstrate now what happens when you send a message. So every message on Solarium is a transaction on the Solana blockchain. So you can see the wallet asking to confirm the transaction, which I do, and then it appears in the lobby. Messages in Solarium are end-to-end -end encrypted, which means that they have been encrypted specifically for the members of the channel you send the message to. In a public channel, this doesn't make much difference, but in a moment, I will show you how to send end-to-end -end encrypted messages directly to other contacts on Solarium. Okay, so now I've set up a second Solarium account on another browser window, and I've called this account Alice, and I've added as a contact my initial browser, which I've called Dan. So here is Dan on the left speaking to Alice, and here is Alice on the right speaking to Dan. I can jump between my contacts and my channels just by clicking this button here. So I'm jumping into the lobby now. And now I'm going to jump back into the chat with Alice. So now let's send the message from Dan to Alice. Hey, Alice. And then confirm the transaction. And up it pops. Then we can send, have Alice send the message back to Dan. Hey, Dan. She uses slightly more formal punctuation and approves the message. And there we go. So next, I'm going to show you how to set up your own account. So to try this yourself, go to solarium.chat. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is connect your wallet. At present, the only one supported is Solid. This will change very soon. So I'm going to create a new wallet here. Don't worry about seeing my my key phrase, I'm going to throw this away after the demo. The next thing we do is create your identity. This is also stored on chain and it will allow you in the future to connect multiple devices and also recover your key in the case of data loss. Next, we add a key, which is essentially registering this device, this browser to that identity. And now we add ourselves to the public lobby. And then we're ready to go. Let me just introduce myself. So now I'm going to show how to add a contact in Solarium. And you can see that when you join the lobby, all the messages are associated with these unusual identifiers, um, did, sol, devnet, and so on. And that's because there are no public there's no public address book. There are no public aliases on Solarium. To add somebody to your address book, just click the plus icon that shows up next to the, their identifiers and then give you them your own alias. This will create a transaction because what in fact you're doing here is you're establishing for the first time a direct point to point channel between yourself and this user with its own set of keys and so on. Hey, me. Okay, so that's all the demos over. Finally, I wanted to talk a little bit about our plans for Solarium for the rest of the year. So first off, importantly, although Solarium is end-to-end -end encrypted and decentralized, it doesn't currently support perfect forward secrecy. So the first thing we want to do is upgrade to the Signal protocol, which will bring it on par at a security level with other mainstream end-to-end -end encrypted instant messengers, such as Signal and WhatsApp and so on, but with the added benefit of being decentralized. Along with that, we want to support a number of additional Solana wallets, and then we'll be ready for a beta release in mainnet. 
quickly following that, we want to bring out a mobile app. The current web app works on mobile browsers, but for an instant messenger, it's much more comfortable to have an app. Finally, in Q4, we want to support multimedia messaging. That includes hot linking to external non-encrypted sources, such as video hosting, GIFs, and so on, as well as interacting with decentralized data stores to store larger encrypted information. And also along with that goes archiving. At the moment, there's a strict limit on the amount of, on the number of messages that are stored on a channel at any one time on chain. Archiving will allow storage of un unlimited information for unlimited amounts of time. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening. Please get involved if you're interested. We'd love to hear from you. Check out the repo at github.com forward slash Dan forward slash Solarium.